Hello and welcome. In this presentation, we shall be looking at another past question on the application of LCM. If you are new to this channel, hello and welcome. And try to uh, click on the subscribe button, like and share this video to as many people that need it. Alright, let's proceed to the question. Okay, we are tackling the 1B. If you are interested in the 1A, um, make sure you click on the video above for that video because I made a video on that already. So let us look at the B. Okay. Now, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's look at it. Two neon bulbs are turned on at the same time. One blinks every 12 minutes and the other blinks every 80 minutes. If they blink together at 7.30 a.m., when is the next time they will blink together? Now, let's look at the solution. Now, if you look at this question critically, it, it involves the application of the least common multiple. Alright? How do I know? They are saying two neon bulbs turn on at the, at turn on the same time. One blinks every 12 minutes and the other blinks every 80 minutes if they blink together at 7 30 a.m what is the next time they will blink together again or what is the next time they will blink together now how do i know that it is lcm the next time they will blink together would only be a time after they started so you see that so for the first bulb we are going to have every 12 minutes it blinks every 12 minutes it blinks every 12 minutes it blinks then for the other bulb you also get to realize that it only it, it also blinks after the start of the time all right so what does that mean every 80 minutes it blinks every 80 minutes it blinks now you get to realize that you have to cumulatively keep on adding 80 minutes 8 to 80 minutes to 80 minutes and to 80 minutes what does that suggest to you the multiples of 18 and the same for the one that blinks every 12 minutes you have to keep on adding 12 to 12 to 12 and what am i doing all right repeated addition is simply multiplication and we apply repeated addition when we are listing the multiples of numbers okay so to know when they will blink together we have to look at a certain repetitive addition for both 12 and 18 such that will arrive at the same number all right so you look at the multiples of 12 and the multiples of 18 the common multiple or the the first number or the first common multiple they reach at all right becomes our least common multiple and that specifically will tell us when the two bulbs will blink okay so let's start with what the listing of the first multiple that is the multiples of 12 the multiples of 12 will be we have 12 24 36 48 60 all right you can go on and on and on as you wish the multiples of 18 would be 18 36 54 and so on and on and on all right so now let's look at the two numbers you get to realize that the lcm is simply 36 because 36 appears here as a first common multiple for and of course and also appears here as a first common multiple for 18 okay so now what are what does that mean they are going to blink together again after 36 minutes but we are looking for time they said if they blink together at 7 30 a.m when is the next time they will blink together all right so we are simply going to add 36 minutes all right to the time 7 30 to see where we'll arrive at Let's simply add 7 hours, 30 minutes plus 36 minutes. What will that give us? 8 hours, 6 minutes. How do we conclude? Therefore, they will bring together again at 8.06 a.m. Alright? In other words, 6 minutes past 8 a.m. I hope you understand this particular presentation. Okay. Now, this is another question I shall be looking at in my next video. Okay, if you are interested, click on the video above to look at a similar video to this or 
the next questions we shall be solving all right as you can see on the screen thank you for your time goodbye